All right, so the dream starts off in a facsimile of my neighborhood that I live in in real life, and I'm rolling down it. I'm actually not sure what I'm rolling down on and on. It's probably some like scooter or skateboard or something, but I, I don't really ride any of those things, but I'm just rolling down the street. And it's pretty, it is, it's hot and dry, the sun's out. There aren't that many people around, but they're kind of just, they're kind of just there on their lawn. There's some random kids and they're kind of bothering me. And I'm out there, I'm just out there and I'm watching the people and I'm going and I'm going up to the shops and it's nighttime <laughs> and I'm hungry. So there's a lot of restaurants, but I I just kind of walk around to them. It's a little cold outside. It's gotten dark and I would like something greasy, but kind of healthy. There's not really that many options. So I end up kind of just walking by and going into this little tiny shop, which I've been to before. And I get like a little rough and I'm on my way and I go to the woods and I'm only there for a little while because the woods is just like this little path that leads to like this field and it's a, just this thing that happens but um that part of the dream wasn't very long or very notable but it kind of moves on to a different part of the dream where something much more distinct happens and this part of the dream occurs in um the location of my dream, so it's kind of like the place where I work. It's got it's like this big building. I don't I don't ha I don't work there anymore, but um, and it, and it doesn't look like it really. It's just like a representative of something like that, and representative of several other types of locations like that. So it's a very big building, and sometimes it's a hospital, sometimes it's a school, sometimes it's a where I work, sometimes it's all of those things. There's a mine in garage in the bottom of it like there's a garage and like a mine that goes all the way down which i go into later in the dream but I'll, I'll get to that but um so uh i'm i'm working not not much is happening you know there's empty rooms i'm cleaning things up and checking out the theater and whatever but what what actually what actually happens like what kicks off in the dream um, at this point is that I learned that my friend is in the hospital. To clarify, this is a mental hospital and I have been institutionalized, so it's definitely relevant to my real life. As well okay. as my friend. She she's like well, she was my friend and she's my point, so she's institutionalized. <laughs> but I um I uh, uh, the plan was that I was gonna go in like sometimes I'm working in this hospital, but it's not like the case at this point. But I was just gonna go in, like go through triage, go through the back, and just kind of pretend to be a patient. It was a little weird because there's already a room set up for me there, and and I was just there. I made it in. I snuck in, and I was like, "Wow, that was really easy for some reason." And I um I got distracted when I was in there because I I, I started to get confused between that location and the other location, the family house. And what was happening was that I lost my nice um, coloring utensils. I, I lost my, what are they called? Prismacolor? I lost my Prismacolor coloring pencils and somebody freaking replaced them with Crayola. And I was like, what? what is this? Who would do such a thing? Honestly, people used to do shit like that to me when I was in in school so maybe maybe it's a memory but i um i was just kind of going around and looking under their beds and getting distracted and i never really got never really got a chance to leave but oh oh jesus sorry um i got spooked by something and um i never really got a chance to leave even though i was trying to plan my escape like you know just watching the nurses and just being there i wasn't in really any particular rush and i didn't find my friend i didn't do anything all i looked for was my pencil was and um but yeah that that scenery kind of changed the family home and 
this is like this is kind of a real place it's kind of connected to the wilds it's definitely distorted in my dreams it's kind of a real place like connected to an actual real place in the real world but it's different and some of my family was there obviously not like not like real life family just like whatever my dream self decided what's gonna be my family in my dream like it just like randomly generated family <laughs> um and we were just there just like dealing with mundane stuff like shit was just happening nothing nothing really worth you know except for the fact that we were going in and out of the house and um I accidentally locked one of my baby cousins out of the house and they disappeared. <laughs> and this happened in my in a dream before this too. So this is kind of like an element of recurrence because um, they had two kids and I accidentally lost one of them and then I lost the other one. So they weren't very happy with me. But that was in an earlier dream. But that, then they just had like one missing kid and the other kid went missing too. So, so I spent like a lot of that dream outside the house you know actually the funny thing is with that dream i did spend a lot of time outside the house looking around at a garden which sometimes happens in my dreams i get confused over the garden there in the garden here but it's a common thing that happens i'll just go out and you know fix a fence there will be dogs sometimes um in that dream particularly there is a dog that was kind of like a black dog it's like I just had a dog that died like a few months ago, so he's been kind of showing up in my dreams a little bit here and there. He gets lost sometimes too, but he was there. And another dog. We're kind of just hanging out. And yeah, we went to the store after that. Ever since coronavirus, like there's always been stores in my dreams, but ever since coronavirus, it was actually only a few weeks ago that it finally got like imprinted into my dream brain that I need to wear a mask when I go into stores. So a lot of the time I spent in the store, which is like, it's one store in my brain because I often go to a store in my dreams, like as part of the thing, but it's usually different. So this kind of store was like a department store definitely they had some food but also like a weird amount of construction stuff i don't know like a home depot walmart kind of deal but more food and i just spent the entire dream like trying to just walking around you know trying to get food and stuff i spent a lot of time doing that munch being stuff when i've been here and actually i think i might have been looking for a rug and a vacuum cleaner and some snacks like some chips and stuff and then there was a little bit of time in the school, not much. And um, weirdly enough, like I went down into the mines and there was a theater down there in that game. And um, it was just kind of bathed in red. And there wasn't much, there wasn't much going down there. It was just like a small snippet of the dream. And there was just a waterfall. And the person that was with me grabbed a bucket and filled it up with water. And that's all I remember out of that. And I think that's most of what I remember out of that dream. But I could like I could remember definitely other specifics, but that's just just it.